Hello everybody and welcome to Knife Delights. We got another installment of Three for Thursday. This is an open tag started by Patty's Potato Peelers. So Patty, um, I thought I'd kind of dedicate this one to you since you started this tag. And my three knives today are three Imperial knives made in Ireland. How's that? We're going to start off with this bottom knife here. And this is the knife that gave me the idea to do my, to use these knives for three for Thursday, because just a couple nights ago I was going through my workbench drawer, and I found this knife, and I forgot it was even in there, and I'm not even sure how I obtained this knife, but this one was used. But this knife here is the uh, Imperial, and it's model AP uh, five. AP5 lockback and it's got uh, like GRN or Zytel type handles and this is out of their uh, wilderness the Apex Wilderness series and this series came out in the 1990s and they were made in Ireland and if you look at the tang stamp it says Imperial Ireland stainless steel this was an advertising knife um, the Illinois Department of Natural Resources ordered a bunch of these and had their logo printed on there. So yeah, that's uh, it's got about a three inch blade on it, half serrated. So then another knife that was given to me is kind of, uh, well, it's in mint condition. And this is the AP23. And again, this is out of the Apex Wilderness series. So this uh, Apex series started, as I said, back in the 1990s, and they were stamped with Imperial, I Imperial Ireland. And then somewhere around, I don't know, 2002 or three, I think they started stamping them with uh, Schrade International. And then in like 2004 or so, they started stamping them uh, Imperial Schrade. So these would be the some of the early knives, I believe, that Imperial started having made in Ireland. So, both of these knives here are out of the Apex Wilderness series. This one here is the uh, TM2, and it's their version of an electrician's knife. Again, it's got the same handle material to it. Just a modern take. Got that drop point blade. And then... Well, it's got a half stop in it. And then you got your screwdriver blade. And it's a liner lock, just like the old TL-29s. Yep, just a modern upgrade to an old, old pattern. Now, I do happen to have the box um, for the Tradesman here. And Tradesman was a whole series of uh, tools that Imperial came out with. 10-year warranty on them and the features there uh, super sharp stainless safety lock blade sure grip handle screwdriver blade wire stripper edge shackle yep and they call it a shackle right there you can be called a bale be called a clevis lots of different names for it so yeah tm2 screwdriver knife Pretty neat old box here. Tradesman quality cutting tools. Again, these were um, from the 1990s. Well, that's just a quick down and dirty on my three for three here. Thanks once again, Patty, for uh, starting this open tag. It's sure a lot of fun. And uh, I invite the viewers to check out for other three for Thursday videos because uh, it's getting to be a very popular uh, open tag. And I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but Boy, the knife channels have really been pumping out a lot of content. So, you know what? Let's give them a, a round of applause for putting out such quality content. It seems to be nonstop. Channels are just putting out video after video. So, thank you all for putting out your videos. It's fun to watch. And it just makes this community so much fun. So, until next time, everyone, have a very delightful day.